All right, let's continue Animal Crossing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. There will be no candy harassment. <laughs> Having to hide from villagers. The, the event was all right. Just. Having to keep the candy supply constant was a little stressful. Alright, but today I can get back to, like, doing something in the town. Flick is... Uh, okay. Noted. Scoot should be fully moved in now, too. I think I might, um, spend time getting money today. Because I'm running out of space and I, I need the house paid, so... We might be doing a bunch of... A bunch of, uh, tasks to earn money. Especially since Flick is in town, it just makes sense. What's up? Do you ever feel like crying? Sure you do, everyone feels sad sometimes. When you feel like you need to cry, don't hold back, use your reactions. I feel like I just got all the reactions. Maybe. Okay. But yeah, I think... If I want more stuff, I'm gonna have to, uh... Work on paying off the house. I should have left that there. It's okay. So let's do the usual thing and we'll figure it out. Yes, let's open with this.
Ciao. That message is there because I can't send it home directly to storage. Scoot should be fully moved in now. Let's see. Hey. Check it out, Pecco's here too. It's a pack stadium to say, zip zoom. Since Pecco's here, I thought we should work on our lats. Oh, would you prefer abs, quads, glutes, biceps, delts, pecs, core? Not for anything, zip zoom. <laughs> Very outdoorsy. I don't get why the windflowers haven't progressed. Just this. Yep. 
What is this lost fossil? Oh, there. This has to be it. No? It's the one, okay. It's the one on the West Island. Fair amount of money now. Uh, and then roses, I guess. Do I need any more pink ones? Hang on, let me have a look. Roses. Yeah, okay, so pink ones go on the outskirts. I guess it's progress. This one needs to go.
about I mean I guess this isn't required Oh, it's a new month as well. Frog is in the pond now. Catfish pond. Angelfish river nibble. Okay. Just some new stuff. The mahi mahi is all day at the pier. So I got some new stuff to acquire. the hot item. Boomerang. Mermaid bed. Hopefully the boomerang's hardwood. No! <laughs> I was about to do stuff. Okay, okay, honk honk. Did I surprise you? Good, that was my primary goal. Bunch of boomerangs. I picked out something tasty for you. Hope you like it. It's a cherry. They, they have so much stuff. Yeah, 
That's about right. Oh, that's so annoying. I was just about to start crafting. Oh, good. Didn't know stay his welcome. Okay, well. Gonna be here a while, but it'll free up inventory space. I need all these rice cookers. Why do I have multiple of these? Okay, see, this is unnecessary. Probably out of room soon. Okay. I'll head out for a minute. At this point, I'm just placing them down. Not really much regard for where I'm putting them. I 
Okay, hang on. Well, that's annoying. figure it out later. Gonna make more and make a shovel as well. Enough, they still go to Harv's Island and just see what the art is, do the fortune telling, and I guess we'll go from there. Wish it wouldn't take this long to craft. Oh man. Good enough.
These aren't worth that much, but it's fine. I mean, when you combine it with what I have in the bank, it's not too bad. Well, this is good timing. I heard that everyone on the island calls you Rutabaga. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. I wonder how it comes up with that stuff. Probably just has a bunch of nouns. Probably a list of vegetables. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Luck with health. I think that's the one that if you eat, it counts for two. So I guess if I want to move stuff, it's probably a good day to move stuff. As much as I would like to... Well, I'll, I'll have a look. Uh, this one is potentially real. Hold up. I think the left one has to be white. If I'm not mistaken. Just double checking the art guide thing. Yeah, it's real. Okay, good. I guess may as well get this. Even though most likely I'll undo it. I don't think I checked it last time. City oh no, yeah, I remember these. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna focus on making a little money because I'm out of storage space. I need the next house. This 
much as I want to keep making things look nice, I need space to actually be able to store some of the stuff. So, since Flick is in town, I'll try and do my best. do that yesterday. No new fence. Ah, for now. Okay, well, I mean, that's not too bad. With everything I have, it's about halfway. Damn, I don't... Okay. I need to go upgrade. First things first, I'm gonna go catch all the wasps. Good. Or that. Careful not to accidentally get rid of stuff. A street organ?
I don't know if I can be bothered with the fruit. At least not yet. Uh, can't right now. If the nest drops, I'm not going to be able to catch it. That's it. Okay, that's all the trees. You got a flick. should go now. Oh, that's what that is. Alright, well, I'll think about it, but... Most likely Pietro stuff. Maybe. We'll see.
since I got one to spin up miles, I may as well do this. I want to sail around the whole world with you. I have some adventures too, but me life has other plans. If I could shrink this old world, puts it in me wee backyard, we could sail seven seas in ten minutes. The world would be ours. Believe it or not, back in the day, I used to be lean and mean. The world spins around, but I be here to stay. And I got streams. I'll follow some fine day. I can't help myself doing that. Doesn't look like it's a special island. Okay. Well, there are new fish up for grabs, so... That's fine. It's not like I wanted a new fish. Uh, I might bring some of these back. I did need more hedges. Golden altar. What is a golden altar? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I could... Oh, but you need a forbidden altar. Damn. I was going to say I could craft it and put it somewhere. me being lazy and not planting them myself, just grabbing them from here. I started closing my eyes when fishing because it helped a lot. I should start doing it again. I don't know. I, I just fake myself out if I see a big shadow and then it's heading towards... Look, it's better that I don't know. Just react to sound.
expecting. Okay, there we go. There's a new one. Seeing what else. Um... There appear to be a bunch of stuff on the pier. Catfish's pond. There's a bunch of other fish that I can't get right now. Okay, so there's no new row of fish. Everything seems to be pond right now. if I want to get anything else here. I came here in the hope that I would get vines and stuff. Ah, oh, I guess since I found the villages I want now, I could try going to the Happy Home Island thing. I just didn't go because I didn't want a village that I might want to turn up there. Scare that from here. Ugh. That would have been a good catch. This one's awkward because it's like in a spot where I can't. Yeah.
All right, I think I'm done here. Not really a whole lot. Oh, yeah, well. While this loading, well, little scene is happening, I'm just gonna refill my water bottle. Plus, I hit noises. I'm not sure if it's my neighbors being weird or if genuinely something to be concerned about. <laughs> I'll be back in 30 seconds. Neighbors being weird, it is. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they're doing, but like... It just sounds like they're scraping something against the wall. I mean, it's night time here, so I don't know, like... Moving furniture at night. Did I have a pub? No. Okay. That's what happens when you have shared walls, you're just, you're just not sure. They do two things that are weird. It's like every now and then there's the sound of like they're moving furniture. And even stranger, they play music that I can only describe as meditation music. I don't I, I don't think it's like real meditation music, but it's it's of that feel and vibe. That's not the weird part. The weird part is they play it extremely loudly, like as if, you know, it's a Friday night and you're gonna throw on party music to dance. But it's meditation music. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let's hear it, Blathers. Okay, despite the name, however, these lovelies are known to be rather aggressive. They have no qualms about relentlessly pursuing fish much smaller than themselves. Why, they even attack their own kin. It seems no fish is safe around these angelic bullies. It makes one wonder who comes up with these names. Appearances and names can be deceiving. There you have it. Okay. Empty today.
That's done. Okay, uh, this is what I wanted these for. Wait, what? It won't let me grab it, why not? That's weird. Is it because I'm under this thing that it doesn't let me grab it? I don't know, that was weird. What are you, what? Lies. <laughs> oh no, there is something definitely going on here. It doesn't like it when I try to do things under this. I needed one more, but that's fine. No, nope, two more. I guess the best place to catch bugs would be amongst the flowers right now. He says there's nothing here. Where are the tiger beetles at? They usually sell really well. fix that eventually. Once all this hybrid business is done, then uh, I can focus on making the rest of this island look good. Hey! Where are the bugs? I 
Is it because ah? Oh, is it because there's mole crickets around? This can only be here. There we go. a tree down somewhere. Yeah, just to allow for this. This is new. Oh, it's new. I meant new as in, yeah. Stump. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep getting these things. Maybe not that one. I can't remember if there's anything specific to this. I'll leave it. for more bugs. Alright, I'm gonna go donate this thing. I heard it! <laughs> this is the problem, all these trees. There was an atlas moth on it. The violin beetle gets its name from its shape, that is, some think it resembles the stringed instrument. If you ask me, this is an insult to violins. With its flat body and small head, the violin beetle looks nothing more... looks nothing but a repulsive bug, plain and simple. In fact, it is so repulsive it oozes a foul liquid when frightened. Ugh. This insect strikes a sour note indeed. Did I get my October things done? In terms of fish and bugs, I'm pretty certain. I did the Halloween thing for the first time. Change it to day sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Soon. Or I could just play during the day on the weekend or something.
But at night you get s tarantulas. And or scorpions. They're worth money. I think it's changed over to scorpion from today, uh, I'm not sure. I haven't seen one yet, so I don't know. Flicker's in town, that's why I'm going- Ugh, damn it. That's why I'm going for bugs. That was bad. If I want to keep building, I need to pay off the house so I get more storage. I'm out, currently out of storage, so... I'm just putting... Building on hold until I pay it off. I guess I have a mole cricket to sell. Yeah, the path choices are nice. I like them. The problem... I wish I could choose more, but... Just, they don't give you much... Much in terms of, uh... Pattern spaces, so... Because one path can take... Up to nine slots to get completely. It's just... I gotta pick and choose. There's a few others that I liked, but I just... Couldn't really go with them. Like, I might be able to get away with having one more type. That's just gonna evaporate in the flowers. I have to wait. It's okay. I think the, the wooden planks one that I got is very good, because it's just three. So I got three colors for nine tiles, which is pretty decent. Oh, it's indoors. We have a nine by nine dirt red and a nine tile stone red. It's kind of what I have. Brick and then... This is more like weathered brick. And then I also have this. I still have, a, I still have a bit of room. I have these as like spaces. Just have to go browse again. Go have a look at whatever's out there. Just haven't made the time. The other thing I want to do up is Pietro's house. I'm going to make it like an, a theme park type thing outside, so... I need to save Nook Miles to get all that stuff. Yeah, it's a good idea. I'll definitely look into it, getting little stone things. See, because Pietro is kind of rainbow colored, what I was gonna do, because one of the fencing types you can color, I was gonna alternate the fencing color, so you know, rainbow, like him. And then the theme park stuff, I'm not sure. 
I'll have to see what's available. I'll acquire the stuff. I guess if it matches this park bench, then I've seen them. So I have seen the colors of this one. There's like a blue, red, and white one. There's a black and gold. There's a green one. And then there's this one. So I went with this one. But maybe... Well, I'm gonna make his front yard the theme park, basically. It's like... Imagine this whole thing is a theme park and his house, because it continues in here. And then part of the front yard as well has, like, some stuff. Like, some stalls and things. That's what I'm gonna do. This is right now, it's, it's very bare bones, because I've just drawn the property line. But that's the idea I'm gonna go for. It's kind of how this looked pretty bland until I actually... He is very amused by that tap. <laughs> but I need storage first. I have to pay off the house. I've run out of room for items. I need more room. Where are all the bugs? Okay, there's another. This was the right choice. Getting a couple more stumps out. Flowers, bushes, and piles all make so much. You compare this to what this was like a week ago. Ah, uh, it's a pretty massive difference. Just three days and then it was just looking really nice. And again, I'm kind of just winging it. Like, I have loose ideas, but for the most part I haven't really planned anything out. These Ugg boots? Can't tell. Well, it says fake fur. Apple bottom jeans, oh no. Don't start. <laughs> Why does that thing keep spawning here? <laughs> I've heard that sound effect like three times now. It's kind of funny, I, when I talk about Ugg boots, people think I'm being fancy, but that's just what they're called in Australia. Like, just n cheap footwear that has, uh, like, wool on the inside. I'm not talking about, like, the designer label, the thing that this American company tried to trademark and told all Australians to stop using the term UG. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, get right on that one. Ugg boots are expensive. The brand, yes. The actual 
style of boots, no. You can go to Kmart and get them here. Like, differentiate the brand versus the actual Australian terminology for footwear. What's the quality of like, though? Good. Like, they're fine. It's like if an American company went to, to a country, like, say, Italy, went back home, started a company called Pizza, and then went back to Italy and said, hey, you Italians should stop using the word pizza. We made a company and we trademarked the word pizza. That's basically what they did with the boots. Like, the purpose of Ugg boots is just things you wear around the house and sometimes to go out. But they're well made, even the ones that are cheap. I'd even say that the designer ones are probably ones that last less because they're probably designed to be worn as a fashion thing and not a wearing actually wearing them for use sort of thing I, I have no frame of reference but I would be willing to bet gift my villagers clothes they can't wear pants really Yeah, I'll get on to it later. I need more room for clothes first. I also haven't really seen clothing that I would want to gift them, granted. The only person I've gifted clothes is Pietro, who has the, the, uh, the pirate outfit. But they're not wearing it, so I don't know. I guess maybe because it counts as pants. I don't know, I, I kind of like how they look. As is. Unless I see something that's... Hang on. Got it. Power of closing one's eyes instead of looking. Again? It's nothing. I'm hanging on to the fish because I want to get a model of it. place oh thanks yeah I don't know if I'm completely done with it the flowers are just I 
I guess there for now, for me to be able to duplicate. But I don't know if that's going to be the final. Probably, like, condense on fruit a little. I'm going to do a little farm somewhere. Most likely, yeah. Just right now, I kind of have it in a semi-convenient spot. I'm probably going to move the one that I have here, which is like the garden. It's just the west side of the island is uh, currently occupied. So once that gets cleared up, I, then I might move some of the stuff. I don't know. For now, this is fine. Ah, I forgot to put... Ah, I forgot to put that back. I'll bury it next to my god turtle. Hybrids just are taking forever. I'm not really sure what I can do to speed it up. It's just luck <laughs> at the end of the day. Seem that right now a lot of them are on flowers and stumps. Yeah, with all these places, there's still a little bit of room left. It's just. I haven't really decided what else to do with it. But at least this pathing thing I'm happy with, that's fine. I might put something here, I'm not sure. I need something as a centerpiece on the table. Nah. Yeah. I'm in no rush, but for now, like, it worked. food. Yeah. I mean, for... I didn't think I had anything that fit the bill. Like, it's very meat or pasta. I haven't gotten much of this category yet. Did I get any from the cards? I don't think I did, no. I got some standard construction stuff. I mean, maybe I can scan some of the cards in. The other ones that I got and just get the camper and see what they get. You're talking about the, uh, 
Sanrio ones, right? This should be pudding. Okay. Yeah, I'll look into it. Good thing I haven't put them away yet. But I've been packing shit, so. Uh, they're still here. It's just six of them anyway. A pudding recipe. Well, I'm not sure which one would have it. Wait, I think I've seen it. I think I have it, actually. Do you mean this thing? Because I do have that. You can. I can just straight up buy that. That's a bad point. I didn't really check. Let me see. There's, there's others, but... What? <laughs> that rug. Maybe I'm wrong. I swear there was a second food item. Oh, that. Yeah, but I got that. I don't have that one. It's a snack. I might have that one in storage. That's it. Gotta unlock more recipes from that, though. Hey, thank you so much for the raid. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Ninji. How's it going? How's the stream? Let me s let me see. What does it do? Um, Animal Crossing recipes. Maybe I can find out which one has what. Sanria. Sanria items list. Oh, it's these same ones. Yeah, I don't think they give you any new food recipes. Let me just look at the food recipes in general. How about that? Oh, see, I just saw one that would be good. They have, like, a pie. Some of them you just have to get certain things, and then... You get inspired for the idea. So I might... If I know the recipe, I might be able to trigger this situation. Fruit pizza? What? So 
sorry, I'm just scrolling through this recipe list. Pumpkin pie. Alright, a lot of them are pretty much just, you have to just talk to people. I guess I should make an effort and go in. Play it's Deep Rock for Halloween. Oh, okay. Nice. I've heard that game's a lot of fun. What did I do? I played this because I'd never done the Halloween event and then did some Vampire Survivors. And then, coincidentally, there was a Mario stage that involved pumpkins, so somehow that turned out to be Halloween as well. Without me planning it, just coincidentally. The Halloween event in this is so stressful, just... You can't walk anywhere without a villager running up to you and trying to get candy, and if you don't have candy, you feel bad. So I set up this pipe to just let me get away from town and then come back without running into villagers. I'm just glad to be able to be... ...running around like normal without any stress. I'm in the process of decorating the town, but right now I want to pay off my house so then I get more space. That's not a whole- I feel like- I don't want to do fishing. Because I always get told, oh, you do a lot of fishing, but... Given that I've only made 4,000 bells... That's not a lot. I feel like I can get more bells quicker with fishing, or even the... Going out for critters in the ocean. That will probably get me just about as much. I just made fishing too good. Oh, I have an idea. I'm... What if you get a good island play on a boat? I went on the boat before it was just a normal island. And I want to save... I don't want to spend Nook Miles too much yet. Because I want to save for the amusement park stuff. I have a bunch of bait that I saved up, and there's stuff on the pier right now, so... You like my guard turtle? Yeah, it's, it's a dog. The sign says dog. Aquatic dog. I had my my turnips here. <laughs> I was guarding my turnips. It's great. I had one on my last island. I put. Um, like a watering bowl and a little food dispenser next to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. I just need to find that item. I haven't changed the look of my mailbox. No, because it costs money. 
My house is going to be one of the last things I do. That's going to be when everything is out of the way. Plus, I haven't really given much thought as to what I'm going to go for for my own house. Free, is it? Yeah. Okay. If it's free, I can do it, but it, I don't know. Because I don't know what I want my house to ultimately look like. I feel like I'd be changing it anyway later. Like, I was thinking about turning it into a venue. Because I, I do wish the the club from New Leaf was here. So I'm almost debating on uh, turning it into a club. It just depends on what items I end up with. That'll pretty much decide what I go with. with this, yes I am fishing, but I'm also freeing up space. You turn upstairs and sell out in the more venue public space the rest of your house. Yeah. I'm considering doing something similar. I need a bite and to pass out. Alright. <laughs> no worries, Catherine. Well, thank you so much for popping in and for the raid. Uh, enjoy the food and yeah, have good rest. I would probably just have my bedroom at the back, and then, like, have upstairs and downstairs be some sort of venue, and then have, like, two kitchens. Well, one have a bathroom, and the other one have a kitchen. So one of the rooms is a kitchen that sells stuff. To be decided. Oh. I know there's a rod out here, but this is decorative. kind of cute. I'm definitely gonna, what I want this to be is like a park with a central area. And then this is just a band performing at the park. Like, the little dude up here is, is the leader. Conducting them. Aw, oh, don't stop on my account. <laughs> Alright, I don't have a rod. She got shy, yeah. Self-conscious. I was watching. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. <laughs> I've been told that I have a very expensive villages. Just make sure I got the times right on this. Yeah. It says Pierre. So Mahi Mahi, Giant Trevali. Sila can't only when it's raining, which yeah. I have not seen it rain in a while. And then the rest are at the pond. I'm just glad I got the 100 fish in a row thing out of the way. It's just not going to drive me crazy now. Saved up all this bait. <laughs> I don't want this to take forever. Ah, oh, crap. Sorry, right. I don't think that was it anyway. That was medium. Us or yeah, that I can tell right away. So if the controller vibrates really strong, I know I've gotten a good fish. Any butterflies and a dragonfly. Okay, but daytime. Probably gonna be for a weekend thing. I did get a violin beetle on the stump, so. Is 
Is it scorpion season yet, or is it still tarantula? Shame that. Flex on the island, I don't have access to those yet. There really didn't seem to be much around. I walked around and did several laps and just not as many bugs as I would like. This is probably going to earn me more money quicker. At least until I have the bait. Okay, I'm gonna customize the rod so it doesn't break. It's been... I usually try to do it once I've caught like a whole row and a half of fish. The blue bug is all day. Oh. Okay. I don't have any stumps, though. Should probably customize this. I've been using it a while as well. There's a bug in the background. Is this what we mean? I think this I think this is the bug. The problem is this is probably the first one. So I would have to donate it. Yeah, okay. That's a bit of a shame. That's nothing major. Uh, I'll keep fishing. Ah, oh, shit. I miscounted. I thought that was the last one. There are five new underwater creatures. Two of them being worth 10k plus. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know if I want to do that today. This happens every time. I want to catch a particular fish, I get a bunch of bait, like 50 to 70, and I just don't catch the fish, and then the moment I stop using the bait, I catch the fish. <laughs> also, hello, Spooky in Bloom. Hang on. I have to close my eyes to fish. 
There we go. Solo in shambles, and this would be the place to go. Yeah, hope you enjoy yourself. It's not too shambly in here today, I don't think. Can't say I've messed up that severely today. I'll be playing Mario later, so you know, maybe then. Right now I'm just trying to get money to pay off my house so then I can continue decorating my island. I need more storage space. <laughs> Come on! Where are the big fish? I'm going to have 20 pieces of bait. Place your bets if I'm going to get the two big fish that I'm after. That's not it. It's okay. From when I use these last two, there'll be 20 pieces of bait. Try and guess. made it go away because I ran. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, okay. I got the feeling everyone's going to sing with the band. gonna donate this beetle. Rosalia batessi beetle is a type of longhorn beetle so named for the long antennae upon its head. But did you know that longhorn beetles often grow antennae longer than their very own bodies? What, what? As if this weren't odious enough, look closely and you will find these antennae covered, are covered in tufts of hair. Best to look, look closely, I say. Okay. I mean, I thought owls ate bugs. His, his bladder's like... Well, they eat small animals as well, but like... I was gonna say vegetarian, but that doesn't make sense. Just, I guess, doesn't like bugs. Be eating mice and birds. 
Well, small ones, not ones the same size. Like, I guess the rules are different here because they wouldn't be like a normal owl. It's not as wild here in Australia, we have pelicans that have been known to scoop up small dogs. We don't talk about like ver birds that do insane things, pelicans. We also have... Oh, I forget what species of bird it is. But there's a bird that's learnt to pick up um, flaming sticks and go drop it on bits of grass. So then the grass lights up, lights on fire, and then the little animals come running out of the grass. So there's a bird that has uh, started doing that, and therefore spreading the fires that happen in Australia. Pretty damn clever. Down to 15 pieces of bait. Um, I need to customize my rod in a minute. Birds are the feathered cousins of the dinosaurs and they know how to be clever girls. And that's wild to me that, as a kid, the whole thing of dinosaurs being closer to birds wasn't, wasn't as big a thing. And now it's like to the point where they're pretty convinced that a lot of dinosaurs looked like birds. We go. Okay, got one. That's one. That's one. It's one of the fish I needed. Now it's just the mahi mahi. Wait, not that. <sighs> the that would be nice in the house. Yeah, so <laughs> we also have the ibis, which is a bird that has a very long beak. They're primarily found in Sydney. But a lot of the suburban ibis have learnt how to open bins. Well, yeah, dumpsters. The ones that have lids on them. Yeah. 
We love the raptors and ursas as a kid because they look so badass in Jurassic Park, but then years later they convinced they have feathers. Yeah, that was the one that tripped me out the most, just the raptors having feathers. I was like, what? Just made them sound like giant chickens. Giant carnivorous chickens. Great to get the Mahi Mahi, but I'm not too fussed if I don't. Now that I have one of them. I know that one's worth a little bit. I won't fish after this, this amount of bait is gone. It's just I had a lot of bait and it's going to free up space, so. Hang in there. <laughs> I've, I've become so self-conscious of fishing in games. Because I, I, I tend to gravitate towards it. No matter the game. It's just because they always make fishing a good... A good way to make money or get resources or just important stuff in games. So I always go towards it. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get the Mahi Mahi. Well, that's certainly not a Mahi Mahi. Okay. Good amount of income though. All right, I'm gonna go back to bug catching. I'll build something small. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about something small I could do that wouldn't take much time. Maybe I could do Pietro's fences and how I was talking about. Oh wait, donate the Trevally. <laughs> so 
tiny built. Alright, let's hear some beige facts. The giant Trevally, as befits its name, can reach 6 feet in length and 180 pounds. Its size and strength have made it a favorite opponent for anglers since time immemorial. They are also ingenious hunters, sometimes taking advantage of other predators to distract their prey. There have even been documented cases of them attacking gulp birds. I mean, the birds they'd be attacking would be seagulls. I would imagine. Most likely seagulls. Or I guess any any that migrate. Maybe I could look for, like, a stone texture or something. Hang on. We'll have a walk around. Because I don't want everything to use this pathing. As nice as it is, I want some variety, so I think I need to get one more style of pathing. Everyone has that song stuck in their head. Oops, I was supposed to talk, not... Okay. Okay, uh, maybe. Okay, I found one that's kind of nice. I think I've gotten stuff from this creator before, but... a quick search. <laughs> okay. Bear with. And just for good measure, I'll leave it on screen for like a minute. Honestly, that wouldn't- that wouldn't be, like, a bad thing to put outside Scoot's house. Okay, so there's- there's some nice stuff here. Aurora Borealis? No. Um... Aurora Borealis! Um, this. Do 
Just do natural pathing. Oh, there's a lot. And then there's... Hmm. This is a very detailed one. But I guess this is if you want to do, like, corner. I'll grab it. So, I mean, it's not room, it's like, it's fine. I think it's good for a variety. There's another one that I saw that I want to try. Hold on. I get it. I'm probably going to use them. So it's like, it's not the worst, but let me try this one. Oh, this one's like in a really crazy font. God. <laughs> the color they picked, the background, and then it's like in white text. It's in a very scripted, like a very script font. Is that a 7 or a 9? I think it's a 9. This is supposed to be script a 7 without like a dash through it. This may or may not be the code. <laughs> Hold on. I'm leaving it on screen just so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is like for more. And the question is do I, well, I guess I already have enough in this style. It would be this that I'd be getting. So it'd be that that, these three, and then the, the angled ones. You have those? Okay. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this stuff comes from Reddit and Pinterest, so... They look good. I think that should cover me for pathing. I, ha I have wood. I mean, maybe... Maybe the... Uh, do I want the little ones? I, uh, maybe these two... Because that's only two at the end of the day. It's small. They're great in front of houses. Yeah, okay. Because I have these as well that are pretty good. And that should cover me. I think for parving.
The majority of this is going to be parving. You gotta appreciate the uh the effort with some of these. And then the rest I can leave for like, because I want to put artwork inside the house and stuff, so custom artwork. There's enough slots for custom artwork. You would not enjoy if you had to do it yourself. I'd enjoy it, it'd just take me a while. It's just, I'm, I'm capable of making this stuff. It'd be just looking up textures in Photoshop and then drawing the shapes and applying the textures. Not to, you I know, mean, make it sound simple. Some of them actually would have been sketched out. It does take time and effort. Okay, and that leaves like a pretty fair amount free. Oh, this is like if you want to do like a picnic thing. Interesting. There's some good stuff here. I mean, we could probably just go... I bet if we just search for picnic, it'll come up. Let's see. Yeah. That one would probably contrast pretty nicely. That one would work well too. That one's not bad, it's got a bit of texture on it. I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself here. That one is super detailed, that's like... Multiple corners. Alright, but at least I know the options available to me. Okay. We'll leave it like that for now. Okay.
Give me a sec. It's this one. This is going to be annoying. Damn it. Just trust me on this. Ah! Grab one. 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 Alright, let's see what we can do here. This is for Pietro's because clown. Let's see. I'm not sure if there was a better way I could have done that. That's a good catch right there. Begin. Wait, that's the wrong fence. This is just like pure guesswork here. What does this is here for? Oh shit, no. I really wish it would show you what color you have. You know? green
surprised there isn't a green. Why is there no green? Hold on. What are the colors? I guess this is technically the green, huh? I feel like black would look out of place. Maybe white? White might not look too bad. Okay, but at any rate, for the entry, it's going to be like a three entry. Yep, okay. I might need more of this fencing. want yellow and blue again. It's a shame it doesn't have like a red sort of color. Okay, hang on. Also, I should probably put in an order. What have we got that's... That. That's one. I'm gonna be poor after this. That is gonna be the entry. So that's why I left it three wide. one of the big ticket ones. <laughs> okay, I need another thousand. Which one should I get first? T teacup or that? This is going to be like the most expensive part. Or... See, there's a lot. Like, all this stuff I have to get. Yeah, if I scatter it, some of it will be here, some of it will be out here. Like, I'll put... I'll figure it out. There's a way to make it all fit. I think it'll fit. Um, also, based on... Like, okay, one of the stalls can go here right next to the house. That's easy. And if there's enough room for the rides, I, I think it's doable. I don't know. I have the picture in my head. Whether it's correct or not is... It'll remain to be seen. If 
Ferris wheel on the beach. Yeah, that's the thing as well. Like, we have a space here. Or I could even put it he here. But there's room. There's room. Okay, so the plaza thing will be here. And it'll connect with the light fence like that. I'm just placing the stuff here because I don't really have a house. But see, this is already like, you know... Something that could go here. A street organ. <laughs> it fits! It's appropriate. I don't know about the toy box. The toy box might go, but... I might put the toy box next to the... the shooting thing, so then it seems like a, a prize. Change the color. It's a good call. the natural fence is doing any favors. I think I'll just make it blue. I don't think it's doing any favors. I thought it might help with the color, but it doesn't seem to really make much of a difference. Yeah, I think white, blue, and pink should be enough. It's still within theme. I think the yellow's fine. It adds, like, a little contrast. It's just one spot of yellow here and there. Because Pietro's got, like, yellow colors. And there's also yellow here. The door is also yellow. Or is that green? I can't tell. What if I made... Uh, hold on. What if I made this white? I need to see it. Yeah, yeah, that looks better. I think as this house behind also has lattice fencing, which I'm not really sure of. Hey, right, Colorin, how's it going? Ah, uh, yeah, that's better. Okay. And I just need one more here, which I guess I can make. What, pink? 
Yeah. Did I get any trick or traders? Nope. Nothing. But my brother went out with my niece, and yeah. They. They had a school thing, and. There was a neighborhood that had trick or treating, but it was pretty close to the school, so that's why. And my other brother had trick or treaters turn. Well, a single kid turn up without a costume or anything, <laughs> just going around. What was she? You know what? I didn't ask. <laughs> just, yeah. Just tell him some other story. I guess I got preoccupied in it. She'll tell me. I'll, I'll ask her next time. I'll ask her. I'll get her to tell me. She'll probably tell me herself next time. She got a lot of candy. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I don't, I don't even know. It's just that foreign of a concept. I'm just thinking. If I should change the fence behind me just so then... It's not double lattice. Guess I could see. Did I do the Halloween thing in Animal Crossing? I did. It was... <laughs> it was something. Just having villagers run up to you every five seconds demanding candy. I couldn't do anything. But I did get the items and stuff, so... That's fine. Um, just so I'm not wasting the remainder of my... Grab on. If you wear Jack's head and robe, they leave you alone. Well, that would have been good to know yesterday. <laughs> I would get a piece of candy, exit the door, and then immediately someone would just see me from a distance and yeah All right, I need to grind some miles as well just to be able to get uh just something from the carnival thing Oh, but see, I don't think the country fence would suit this. Did I do that right? Yeah. What about the stone fence? The stone fence might work better. I don't think I've used that one. Not this one, but the one that's... You'll see. I don't think I've used that one for anything. Now you have to take all the pumpkin stuff down. Any Thanksgiving decorations? Oh. Now, I've learned that here in Australia, um, they started encouraging people to make, instead of using um, pumpkins, to use pineapples. We'll take both, we'll see which one looks better. And actually, it actually works pretty well. It's just because they want pineapples to sell. 
because we grow them here. I'm not even fussed about that anymore. I'm kind of leaning more towards the stone because there's just a lot of color here. And it would, I think even the iron fence would blend in too much with this. But let's just look at both. So we could do this. Or... I think I, I think I already like this more. It feels more distinct. And it doesn't blend in. Yeah, exactly. Let's just let the, the door be the decoration. Then I can get blue stuff in general and put it around. Like, we can make up for the lack of color with flowers or... Like, I bet if I got- I put all the blue flowers in this yard with maybe some other color, it would look nice. So that's what I'm probably gonna do. Yeah, there we go. I think this looks nice already. <laughs> I didn't- I didn't learn how to write Spanish properly, so I don't- I didn't learn the accents, but yeah. It's one of those. I should, I should learn. Like, it wouldn't, it honestly wouldn't take much effort for me to get my Spanish to a, a very good level. Yeah, because he'll give me an item. He's bored watching me decorate his uh, yard. Okay. I need him to give me that. I think I have that soundtrack already, but that's going to be playing outside. Yeah, I want... I'm disappointed because he doesn't wear this pirate outfit. I really wanted Pietro to wear the pirate outfit. So then he could be a pirate clown. I want a buggy from One Piece. <laughs> let's, let's face it. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I mean, mind you, buying some of the stuff for outside would be great, but I think just leaving his house as is is fine. Was was the was the high card low card thing? I swear every time I feel like it's just a ploy to get me to buy stuff. I'm not interested. All right, I'll do. I'll try one more time. Just wants to sell me something every time. No. I'm good. Okay. A baseball uniform, that's not gonna help me. This is part of the reason why I went with Pietro. It's not I like Pietro visually, but I felt like there could have been other villages I could have gotten. But that being said, I thought about, wait, what if I want to set up an amusement park and then I use this house as like an outlet to do the amusement park and then it just... That convinced me to bring him here. Alright, let's 
guess he had his customizers. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I'm taking this so seriously. I guess that one? Hmm. It's between this one and that one. Because the others are too plain. Pro <laughs> uh, I don't know. Tough choice. I'm trying to think which one would work better. Probably the blue one. Because this one, the yellow is nice, it's just the green that doesn't quite work. Whereas in this, it's more neutral at least, and then the, the colors are... Yeah. You think yellow cat? I don't know. I don't like the green. I just, if, I like the yellow, that's the thing, alright, alright, it's not that I don't like the yellow, I like the yellow more, the problem is I don't like the green. And I think with this, if I place it near the white, at least it kind of blends in. If it wasn't for the, if, if it was like, you know, a brown wagon. I can always change my mind. That's the thing. I could see how this looks once other things are around, then later it's like if I want more color, I can bring more color. Like, if this gets placed here, right? I'm not sure. Okay. There's two ways to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. And then we can we can do like A B. I'm gonna see it side by side. Like I don't care. This is, takes as long as it needs to take. <laughs> I'm not so convinced. I need to see it in daylight. Yeah. But seeing as I'll be playing majority at night, I get what you're saying. I 
I have an idea. Well, I could just buy, I could just order another one, and then could just see it side by side. That's probably a good idea, and then just get rid of it if I don't want it anymore. Because it'd be in the catalog, so. Hell's Kitchen. Uh, depends who's around. As long as more than one person wants to watch, that's the rule. Alright, let's look at this one. Okay. In this light, you prefer the blue. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think I'm. I think my first instinct was. Cr I just wanted to see it because. I I kind of get your point as well, cat. Like you know, too much blue. But I think just looking at it, I think it suits it better. The blue. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't want to completely rule it out without trying first. I'll go make it blue again. I know this is a lot of back and forth, but this is important. I might set up a ticket booth as well. Oh, ooh, that's a good idea. But just as I said that, the 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 thing you'll see. Um, dude's probably like, really? You come back to undo this? I love how in this game they haven't made him aggressive, but in New Leaf, just his, his energy was, are you looking at my woman? <laughs> just... That was the first impression I got of him in New Leaf. So weird. Like, I wish I was exaggerating, but that's more or less what he says. Just like, are you looking at my wife? The NPC is at halves of Solus. Yeah. I know that they wanted to give more purpose to Harv's Island, but I kind of wish that they would have let you put more buildings around the town. It would have been nicer if you could set up their stalls in the town. Like, I miss the extra buildings they had in New Leaf. Like, the club. And, um... They had Leaf's place. They had a bunch of... The hairdresser was there. They were all there. Hmm. 
Okay, um... It's just wood, I think. I might need to go get more customization kits, we'll see. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Try two searches. First one. Let's just see what comes up. I might just try circus. Okay. Let's just keep that in mind. This one will probably get more results because it's, yeah, less specific. What What is it with these bloody... <laughs> oh, okay. Well... That's... Potential. I can make a sign out of this. Okay, hold on. That's not what I was after, but that's a good one. Oh, damn. It's an intricate floor pattern. That's what we want. Very good. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it, I hate this. Okay. Oh, shit. It's kind of already good, but not that. I need materials. Oh, I need one more customization kit. Okay. Do I have... no. But, um, I'm gonna get a tailor's ticket and place it on the thing. I just need to get a tailor's ticket. Whenever that happens. Or a Sahara- even a Sahara ticket will do.
enough for now. Customize it first. I think I need more fencing now that I think about it, because I need to make it like it's an actual entry. This will this will work. I think. You can't do diagonal fencing, can you? But effectively. Street organ goes here. No, wait. Sign goes there. Street organ goes here. <laughs> it works. And I'm just going to put a tailor's ticket on there. There's a sign that I need to buy now. I can't remember what it's called, but we'll see it. put the uh the pattern that says Pietro Circus on it. So that'll, that'll be good. Okay, I'm gonna earn some just some nook miles real quick. So I can afford the other one. Um wood, sell item critters cook, okay. I'm not 
far off from being able to afford it. Fruit. Oh, right, the fruit thing. How much hardwood do I have? Hang on. Item of the day is a boomerang. Sell that. As far as fruit goes, I mean, I guess I need to harvest. I haven't done that yet. Hold on. This could be good. Oh, come on. Back to Koi. Item, fruit, and that. Uh, what is it? Plant flat? Uh, it's plant flowers, water produce. Okay. I've kind of got annoying ones at the moment. Do the whole lot here. <laughs> Should I get rid of the, the Halloween stuff? I mean, that tree in the background makes less sense now. Spend bells to buy items. I'll buy customization packs. Um, I'll go indoors and quickly make something. See that ramen that makes me hungry. Hmm. 
since I don't have any more storage. Oh, it did work. Okay, never mind. Oh, because I got rid of bait. Talk to villagers. Okay. And then I need to pick one circus thing to get, so... I don't know. I think it's between the teacup ride and the... Oh, teacup ride, ferris wheel, or... Um, what's the other one? There's a few. What have you been getting up to, but I've just been... Well, not a whole lot, I guess. That's a mood. Talk to Scoot. Hi, Scoot. Yeah, you're here. Perfect timing for an indoor workout. Zip zoom. There's nothing like the smell of a hot compress. It's the best thing after working my delts. Zip zoom. <laughs> I like Scoot. Hey kid, that's what brings you here, let's talk. That's where the rocks, feels like I'm... Wait, feels like anything I do is gonna turn out awesome. Okay. Customize items, let's do that quickly now. Super easy one. Nearly there. I just need to get 6,000. Is that water, water produce again? Yep. Just a couple more. DIY recipes. Uh, I'm trying to think what I could make quickly. Medicine. I don't really have shells for bait. Annoying 
some beetle. There we go. I'm just going to change socks. Another... Okay, hold that. See, that makes it easy. Make another three boomerangs and then just salt. Another easy one. <laughs> Spend bells, okay. Well, this will definitely put me over, so now I can buy one of those items. Okay, which one am I getting? So, we have a choice of... Hold up. The merry-go-round, the ferris wheel, the teacup ride. I'm kind of... Uh... I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Just to begin with. No, that's it. That'll be a good start. I haven't even thought of, like, the paving that's going to happen. 
But I guess Pietro's yard's gonna have to be more... Yeah, like, normal. It's gonna be... Less, uh... I guess I can't really start it now, but... I get the feeling it's gonna be more of a standard, and everything's gonna be just paved. Maybe with the exception of a couple things, I don't know. Hey, Kara, thanks for the 13 months. <laughs> Appreciate it a lot. How's it going? I'm just thinking out loud here. I'll sell these bugs. Alright, the store's gonna close in like ten, nine minutes, so... Okay. It's about to go grocery shopping when there's a sub in the Yeah, can't have those ads now, can we? Okay. They just caught me at the tail end of Animal Crossing. But I'm gonna swap to Mario now. I think I've done enough planning. Tomorrow I'll have a bunch of stuff ready to lay down here. But I think the idea is solid here. Just amusement park. I just need the little bits and pieces. So. That'll be the next thing I have to tackle building. It's gonna be slow because I have to grind up a bunch of Nook Miles to get all the stuff. Like, probably another 20,000 to be honest. But, we'll get there. Okay, well. If you are watching this later on YouTube as a replay, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you have been enjoying. And if you want to support the channel, easiest way to do so is just click buttons, particularly the ones that have a thumbs up on them. It does help out a lot, so thank you very much to those that do do that. Uh, yeah, it means a lot. Or you can uh, watch me play something else if I remember to do the thing that shows you two other videos of mine. So, yeah, hope you check them out. But we'll uh, do more of this soon. Till next time, bye YouTube.